Hey everybody, and welcome back to part two of Adobe Premiere Beginners tutorial. So, in the last uh, episode there in the videos series, <laughs> I guess that's what you'd call it, right? You uh, you learned basically just the structure of where things were and the navigation stuff. Well, now I'm going to show you probably what is going to be one of the most important things in Adobe Premiere. And as a beginner, this is probably going to be the most important thing in a video is what I'm about to show you. So I've explained all this in a previous video. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a new project, okay? And we're going to call this Demo 7. And I've explained all that too in a previous video. If not, yes, we will overwrite it. Okay, so just come over here so now I've explained all the windows here so what I want you to do is I want you to click into this window so it's blue and then I want you to hit the tilde tilde key that's the little squiggly line that looks like a wave under the escape key okay if you can just hit that for me and it's going to enlarge and what we're going to do is we're going to go to media browser and we can see we got a video here and then we got contents okay now what I want to show you is Adobe Premiere can take um, raw camera footage, okay? So this is raw footage from my camera, actually, and it's stored in a folder on a memory card, like a P2 card, it's called, in my camera. And it's folder, con it starts with contents, and then, you know, we have audio, and here's the video. It does, um, the audio channels are actually done separate. There's four of them all together, but only two, I think, are actually recorded. I think that's what I had it set on. Okay, so we're going to go back here. Now, what I want to show you is this eyepiece. Now, if you have raw camera footage, um, what I would advise you to do is take your camera might show up here, but I don't advise taking the footage from the camera and going into Adobe. I, I would advise you to actually take the camera and copy it somewhere. So I, in other words, I took my contents folder and I copied it on my drive. That way everything's safe and untouched. And if you have to go back, it's all there. You don't have to worry. There's just problems that can arise. So that is my best advice. So anyways, so what I want to show you is this eye, like I was saying. So these are different raw formats that Adobe Premiere will recognize. So since I told you I had a P2 card, I can hit that, boom, right away it finds my contents folder that has this in it. So that's pretty cool actually. And oh, you notice I got a favorite here too. I, I should show you that while you're here. What you can do when you have favorites is uh, I'm just gonna go back to file directory. So when you go back up to the eye, file directory so what you can do you can you do this with folders okay you can actually just like I did you can right click add to favorites and boom it goes in there <laughs> and so you have easy access to where everything is without having to search all the time and blah 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 but anyways we're gonna go back here and here you can also do the list view if you just want or we can do like a thumbnail view and large stuff whatever you know what I mean you can click on here, you can play this by the space bar. So shut it off by the space bar. This is just a video of a vlog I did. So you can scrub, do whatever you like, okay? Now what I want to show you also is this right here. These are formats also that Adobe recognizes. So there's a lot here. So you can look through these if you like. And those are pretty well the main formats out there with anything so really recognize it's just about anything I don't think I've actually had anything it hasn't been able to use yet so I I don't know what to say about that okay but now here's where the most important thing comes in now this we got to pay attention to okay now let's say I have a video here like this one is compatible but let's just say I don't even want it in that format like say you need to change the format so you can work better in Adobe or you need Adobe to recognize it well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit ingest okay and then what ingest is probably gonna do for some of you is you're gonna see media encoder come up and I would suggest installing Media Encoder because it might not work right without Media Encoder. So um, 
I don't know why it does that, but um, when you hit that, usually median quarter will actually pop up for us automatically. And if it uh, doesn't, it'll pop up with an error. So I suggest you do get median quarter because really if you're going to be editing videos, you should have Premiere Pro, you should have Photoshop, and you should have Adobe Media Encoder. Those are the for sure ones you should have. You might eventually get into After Effects, so you know you might get that later but if you do all four of those you're going to want to have because media encoder lets you encode things to different formats but the beauty of it it lets you do it for many videos or many files not just one at a time so that's the beauty of it so anyways so you see that I hit ingest for this right so these are the ingest settings so what we're going to do is we're going to hit those and you can see this is on copy right now but I don't want it on copy I want to go to transcode okay now your preset options might be different than mine mine are just on a default thing right now so you have all these you can transcode your file to and there, there might be more you might like have Apple this whatever you might you're gonna have a bunch of different stuff but this is why I suggest you get media encoder too because media encoder will let you pretty well do God, there's got to be like uh, at least a hundred different codecs there just by looking like I don't know exactly how many but I mean here's um we got this this is a good mp4 type uh, file that I use in a lot of my stuff it's video card related or software related depending on the the H264 because there's a couple different kinds but anyways that's neither here nor there so let's just say I want to do that okay so now all I got to do is right click and we're going to import that and uh, see already you can see now it's opening up the media encoder so but anyways we'll let that open but what I did was I imported it into uh, my project here okay so you can see that's media encoder I guess I will take a look good little look at I'm not going to show how to just use this yet but it doesn't really matter so far all we what we all we need to know though is is that it's encoding it to what we want so we're just gonna let it do its little thing here and then uh, we're gonna hit the tilde key again so we're gonna reduce that down okay so we'll just let it keep encoding and by the way that I'll just kind of go give you an overall view here but you can kind of see down here like look at all these presets it's got stuff you just want for YouTube or you know 4k what whatever there's all sorts of stuff and then what you can do is you can customize them up in here and then you basically just hit the play button like it looks like a little green play button and then it's going to do uh, all the encoding like this so now it's giving me the encoding of this blah you know so forth so it's changing it over with a different Kodak that will work in a sense easier with whatever program you might be trying to bring the video into raw are great files to work with so if it recognizes raw right away I would just stick with that and then render and code later on because basically encoding is just is when we bring the file in and then we render it and then it's it's the same thing really we're just encoding presets and stuff into it audio codex or video codex um you don't have to be an expert on codex so don't 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 get all confused oh codex oh that word just confusing me and then when you look it up it's i don't get it there's so many um don't worry about it too much just remember like uh, like I said this is a common one the H264 um, you know the M it's an mp4 type codec thing that you can st you can actually stick it into different things too they're just containers basically they're um, a codec just a container of um, what the formats gonna be how it arranges it and how it plays it so forth but basically everything with Adobe Premiere defaults everything pretty good so you won't have to worry about too much at the beginning but like I said if something's going wrong or it doesn't recognize the file you know how to transcode it right because I showed you we have the ingest settings right here that helps us do all that right so we'll just cancel that so we'll come over here so now I'm going to drag this over and this is our timeline where we're going to be doing all the editing so forth right and you can see that transcoding was no good because it didn't transcode my audio so 
but I wouldn't have transcoded this video to begin with. But anyways, that's that's the whole point. So now, I mean, if I wanted to change this, I could. I'm not going to go through uh, how to get back there, get my audio, so forth, so forth. That's That'll be inside another video. But anyways, uh, we'll just control Z that. And what I'll do is I'll bring, is this the one? Oh, no. Hold on, we'll control Z that. It's brought them both over because it changed it okay well never mind about that what I'll do is I'll just import this without the ingest and let me show you so we'll come back here and that's it so let's see <laughs> yeah so now we gotta now it wants to change it to what this clip setting is and that's what I'm talking about how Premiere is beautiful so it knows it's not right to what's going on with the timeline that this the the settings that I got set for the project with these aren't matching that so we're gonna change the secret settings so they match so there we go now we got our audio back because it's the, the raw original file I didn't change the codex on it you wouldn't have changed that anyways I wouldn't have taken this and did what I showed you in media quarter this was just for a rough example like very rough so don't read too much into that but that's basically it so those are the important things you want to uh, know is when you're bringing that in and then what I'll show you too is the most important tools you're probably going to use is this so you can grab things and move it you're gonna drag you know just like you do with windows and slice tool so you can move somewhere and slice and if you hold the shift key down while you're moving this you can uh, magnetize right up to the ends of your slices or end of clips or the beginning of clips so you'll even see those white arrows so you know you're there okay so just remember you can do that to grab things move them and this will slice things for you so as a beginner those are going to be the two most important tools for you okay so in my next video I'm going to show you a more in depth of actually bringing a clip in editing it and showing you um, basically the steps you'll probably be doing with most of your little videos or big videos you might be putting in okay so like a like I said in my last video, this is um, this is just a tutorial for an absolute beginner. So don't anybody start flaming me over things. Um, I don't want to push everything into you at once because I want you to absorb and look at things and 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 feel free to move around and experiment. Like don't be don't be afraid to slice something up and go, hey, that's kind of cool. Look, look what it can do, and then look look what it is actually doing. Is it doing anything? Is it changing anything? Um, what if I go in here and scroll my wheel? Oh, look at this. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to do that because you can always control Z and come back to everything. That's the beauty of it. It always lets you undo or redo. Everything's safe okay so <clears throat> don't get in too much of panic and remember you can always go to Windows workspace and then <clears throat> reset to save layout in don't forget in the panel you're in so we're in editing it's going to reset for the editing if I was in effects it's going to reset for the effects look but you understand what I'm saying okay so I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet um, it'd be nice subscribe I'm not one of these guys that right away likes to put a subscribe right away usually on my videos because it's kind of annoying when someone goes on for 10 minutes about subscribing then they give you the video. But anyways, take care and if you got any questions about the actual video stuff, go ahead and ask questions. Don't ask me questions on how to or anything like that. I just want questions related to each video segment that I bring out. So if, hey, if it was about a how to the video I was doing and you want to ask about something you didn't get, then great, that's, that's awesome. But I'd like to keep the questions related to the actual video. So that way when people are looking at things and comments, they can get answers from everybody. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.